Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Okami. Last episode, we made our way over to Punktan, home of the Punkles, hidden deep within the forest. Took a bit of running to get here, but we still got here. Isun didn't come in with us. I mean, we had to shrink down in order to get in here, but Isun didn't come down. And we did find out where the little girl appears to have run off to. The Spirit Gate, a place that leads us to another place and time, allegedly. So, let's head out of here and tell Isun what we found. Also, clearly he had to, he decided to run off, so, uh, yeah, learned a bit about him, too. Now then, Isun, let's talk. Well, you'll talk, and I'm just going to stand here. Ya done yet? What? It looks like you want to say something. The spirit gate? Are you telling me Lika went through it? <laughs> You're as easy to read as a book. Well, I ain't gonna go in there either. It's nothing but trouble. If you have to go, ask that old man Ishaku to be your guide. Isum, is that really you? Who's there? Oh, one of them came out. Isun, it's me, Mia. Huh? Oh, uh, Mia. So you finally come home. And I bet you're, you've become a real celestial envoy. Just like Grandpa Ishaku and everyone knew you would be. Why don't, won't you come into the village? Oh, I get it. You don't want to go see him, right? Put a cork in it. What? And what's with the celestial envoy business? Give me a break. What good would it do to become something like that? I'd rather live happy and carefree. I can't believe you'd say that. So does that mean you don't paint anymore? We punkles are supposed to help people believe in the gods. Otherwise the gods will remain forever powerless, remember? I said put a cork in it. If you like painting so much, go for it. But you can count me out. Go hawk your silly ideas and harebrained plans somewhere else. He soon... Go away, we're busy. We have urgent business beyond the spirit gate. What? Listen, I don't have time to help you with your boring old paintings. Let's get out of here, Amy. You should wait. You should, are you really going to the spirit gate? Are you trying to find a little Oina girl by any chance? Come on, Amy, we've wasted so much time here already. Let's go already. The Oina, and the Oina woman is also gone. I guess we have to go this way. It's the only other way we can go, so... Inner Yosh Pet. Still no map. Huh. Okay, Amy, the spirit gate is farther on this way. Even we punkles hardly go that far into the forest. Nobody knows when it was made, or even who made it. They say that opening the gate only invites disaster. I doubt we'll find any curiosity seekers around there. After all, no one but the chief of the punkle clan can open it. Plus, the road to the forest depths is like a maze. It's even more confusing than the part Kai guided us through. But if you're really bent on going through there, I'll be your guide. What's it gonna be, Amy? Let's head there. Okay, let's run full speed ahead to the spirit gate. Now stick close to me, Furball. I don't want you getting lost. Okay, so we're going on the run again. Oh, these are shifting. Turquoise castles. The bright color evokes a feeling of new beginnings. I'm going to ignore these. Well, mostly. Oh! Some... seconds added here. That's... Oh! I mean, it's a little bit of praise, I guess.
And we got more of these coming down. More icy terrain. Oh boy. They made it past that. Another stray bead, which I don't overly care about. Okay, down here. I guess I could have jumped around. It's no big deal. Ow! And there's a demon over here, but I think I can avoid and find something over here. A nice new treasure. Etched glass. Okay, that's a treasure. Once again, we are going to avoid those demons, because I'm pretty sure that will just cost us time. And made it through there. Time for the next one. Made it through there. Ow. Made it through that one. Ah. That's unpleasant. Yeah, that was... Oh, jeez. Do you mind... White porcelain pot. I bet I can jump around it by going this way. It looks like I was correct. Okay, this way. Oh, this does not look pleasant. Ah, shit. Missed it. Hey, Sarah. Oh boy, these things are not fun. Ah, jeez, missed. Again. Friggin' narrow ice pads. Go away, I don't want to deal with you. Okay, there's some more time over here. Oh boy. The ice is really not helping me. Ow! That is also not helping me. Okay, that's the way we should go. So then let me get the treasure from down this path. You are another stray bead. Why so many freaking stray beads? I don't care about them. Once again, we will avoid those demons. And on to the third path. We've got more of these snowballs. Ow. Not pleasant, but thank you. Oh boy, that was close. And now I've got... Oh, jeez. More ice, more demons, more all of this. Oh, great. This, this is gonna be... This is so much fun. Okay, I'll take this chest. Oh, another freaking stray bead. Why are there so many of these freaking stray beads? Okay, made it across that pit. That was not very pleasant. Oh, there was... Is there another chest over here? There may be another chest over here. I think... There's nothing over there. Fine, we'll ignore that one, and let's just get over. Thank you. Get past the ice. 
We've got a little more time here. Made it through that. We've got another one. An infinity stone that can be helpful. Away with ye, away with ye. Okay, made it through that one. Gotta head to the right for the next treasure. I think this might be the last one. There we go. Hey, a sun fragment. That's actually very useful. That I will definitely take. And this should take us to the spirit gate. Yep, made it. This is it. That big old hunk of wall right there is the spirit gate. Well, let me drop down a save and then we'll investigate. And... Alright, well we have the spirit gate here. There doesn't seem to be anything else around here. The spirit gate. Nobody knows when it was built or even who built it. All we know is that it's been here since the age of Mips. And that's a whole lot older than even old man Ishaku. The Ponkle Chief's clan has served as its gatekeepers for generations. It's said that needlessly opening this gate only invites disaster. But I have no idea what kind of disaster it might be. I'm gonna force this, case out, this gate open. After all, we have no other choice if Link is on the other side of this thing. Stand back, Amy. Excuse me. Can you open it? Holy crap, you actually did! I thought only the chief could open it. I'm actually impressed, he soon. Boy. Old man Ishaku would have my head if he knew what I just did. Let's just keep this between you and me, Amy. Just look at that light. Looks way too pretty to be anything that invites misfortune. Uh, well, what are you looking at, Furball? The door's open, ain't it? Do you have the guts to go on through it? If you've turned back now, after all I've been through, I swear I'll... Eh? Oki? What are you doing here, Oki? Hello again, Isun and... Amaterasu, was it? I thought I'd come and join the fun. I've never seen the spirit gate open before. They say opening it only invites disaster. What are you doing here anyway? And how the heck did you get this far into Yoshpet to begin with? Ah, you must be talking about this forest's power to confuse beasts. Indeed, we half-man, half-beast Oina should feel the effects. But it seems the sacred sword Kutone has kept me safe. This is no surprise, as the sword itself has driven me here. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens when Kutone glows silver. As the prophecy foretells, when Kutone starts glowing, it is a sign that the demons shall soon fall. What's more, some say that even the heavens will be within reach. What the heck's that supposed to mean? <laughs> anyway, it hasn't even begun to glow. I must not have slain nearly enough monsters yet. 
If that's the case, this spirit gate should be just the thing. I'll give those monsters of misfortune a taste of Kutone. This is probably not a good idea. Okay, wait. We have no idea what's on the other side of this thing. All we know is Lika somehow ended up going through it. I guarantee you're gonna find more than you bargained for in there. That's what I'm hoping for. For the sake of Kutone. Great. Guess we need to go after him. No, wait, Amy. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Let's see where we end up. This doesn't look so bad. What was all that talk about the spirit gate and misfortune? Hey, this place looks familiar. It does. Yeah, that's it. It looks just like Kamiki Village. Kamiki? You mean that tiny village in Shinshu Field? That's where the whole legend of Orochi began. I've never crossed the sea and set foot on Nihon before. The divine guidance of Kutone must have led me here. The monsters of this land shall now taste its cold steel. No, Oki, wait! What about Lika? He's gone. Oh well. Anyway, this really is Kamiki Village, isn't it? But I'm getting a different vibe from here. Huh? That's strange. Why is there a full moon again already? Hey, isn't this where Sequoia's 3 was? What's this stinky little seedling doing here? did say another place and another time. Hmm? Wait a second. You're some kind of god, aren't you? I'm a wind sprite. They call me Shakoya. Young wood sprite Shakuya. Pretty sure we've gone back in time. Why didn't she say your name is... Shakuya? Sounds kinda familiar. Anyway, where the heck Sakoya's three? Shakuya? That's m that's me. Yeah, yeah, we already know, kiddo. We grown-ups are busy right now. Why don't you go off and play? Excuse me, God. Are you looking for me? Did you say God? Huh. I guess the innocent eyes of a child can see the truth, Amy. Amma? I'm a Mr. Bug and me, Shakoya. Let's be friends, okay? Mr. Bug? Uh, you better watch it, kiddo. <laughs> okay. This is definitely a little different. At least we'll get a save here. Let's head up to the top and see what we see. Oh, good, we can get more praise from these. There's one more here. Definitely does help. I pray for your swift growth, Konohana. Uh, uh, what do you want with us? Hey, Gramps. Still tearing up the dance floor, I see. So what happened to the Sacred Three? 
Counts so small all of a sudden. Someone put a curse on it, or what? What are you talking about, you fool? I'm lovingly raising this seedling to bring peace to the land. It shall drive away Orochi and all of his minions. Orochi? <laughs> Where the heck have you been, Gramps? That sneaky snake's pushing up daisies right about now. I don't have time for this nonsense, you fool! Year after year, you come to our village to claim the sacrifice. And this time, you've even learned to speak! Well, today's the day I say enough is enough! Oh, settle down there, Gramps. We don't want you throwing out your back or anything. Silence, you foul beast! Today's the day I say enough is enough! You foul beast! I see. I feel like we've not only gone back in time, we've gone back in time to when Orochi is about to claim another, uh, another woman. It's definitely much smaller. That's something I'd like to grab, though. I'll probably find a way up there from below. Every little bit helps. Even if it's only a tiny bit. Home of the village elder, Mr. Grapefruit. Grapefruit? Doesn't Mr. Orange live here? And whoever heard of a, such a silly name as Mr. Grapefruit anyway? Oh, hidden chest. I will take this. Hey, some Kutani pottery. How delightful. I guess we can go inside. Seems there's nothing to eat here. And yet we still found some things to eat. Home of Nazo. Damn, Mushi still has terrible handwriting. He even wrote his own name wrong this time. Did he? Oh. Huh. I don't remember this little Alta being here. And this room looks a little different, too. He really hasn't clued into it yet. I swear, you are just... so dense sometimes, Isun. Hmm? You don't fool me, you, you dumb wolf. Pretending to come sniffing out a sacrifice for Orochi, while all the time you're just waiting to dig up my field? Huh? Give me a break, lady. I got too much on my mind as it is. Ow! Okay, fine. I'll leave you alone. Hey, I said I'd leave you alone! Hey, you're Shira Nui. We don't need any of Orochi's familiars around here. Shira Nui? Orochi's familiar? Does that have something to do with us slaying Orochi? <laughs> well, you're gonna have to wait in line for an autograph. Shut up! The only one who's gonna get slain is you, you monster! Monster? What's gotten into you, Mushi? Ow. Well, I can feed the dog, at least. Still coming around here, Shionui. Well, you're not gonna get away with it this time. Hey, wait! What the heck's gotten into you? Alright, alright, leaving you be. I'll go ahead and do this. Go get me some more praise. Every bit of praise helps. 
nice amount too. Tonight is the night of the full moon. That sad day is once again upon us. This year, the lovely young Nami will be Orochi's next victim. Lovely young Nami? Wow, she sounds hot. Where's she at? Eh? Oh my, is that... Shiranui? Please, I'm begging you. Have mercy on me. I'll make you some yummy cherry cakes. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Grandma. Now what about that lovely young Nami you were talking about? Oh my. Okay. Oh. Well, that filled that up, at least. Nami's Sake House. Nami? This is where Kushi lives, isn't it? Hey, sweetie, how you doing? <laughs> I hope you can cut that Susana some slack. You should so shy, Dad. What was that all about? Can't even go in. Yeah, this is definitely not the best of situations. Oop. Okay. I can do this one. I said I can do this one. Here's another. The great warrior, Nagi. Nagi? Who's he kidding? I see he still can't, can't spell either. That Susano must have finally lost his marbles. Pretty sure it's not Susano. Like I said, we've gone back in time. Doesn't look like there's anything specific happening in here. and changed a bit. What the? Uh. Oop. Ah, I slept like a lord. I must have dozed off from training to defeat that no good shit on the way. Huh? Who are you? What do you want with me? I'm Nagi, the greatest warrior ever. Wait a minute. You're... Shit on the way! You're still dreaming of something, Pops? I mean, greatest warrior ever? Give me a break. You brought along a little pea-sized monster this time. Well, I have you now, Shirinui, you monster. Monster? Come on, Pops, wake up. You must still be dreaming. What's with this Shirinui business? You're still obsessed with the past. The past? Stop speaking nonsense. Look at that moon! Tonight is the night when the moon waxes to its fullest. It marks the day when Orochi shall claim his human sacrifice. Orochi? Wait a second. What the heck's going on? The sinister air, that Jakarochi must be stirring. How is that possible? Huh, <laughs> too late to feign innocence, Shiranui. We know you come each year to seize up Orochi's human sacrifice. But this time things are going to be different. I, Nagi, shall put an end to your devilish work. Orochi. Nagi. No, it can't be. Right, Tammy? I mean, the Spirit Gate couldn't have possibly sent us back to Kamiki Village 100 years in the past, could it? Now you realize? No! 
Oh, okay. I guess we're fighting now. He is actually surprisingly strong and seems to regain his health a lot. Ow. There we go, that's another hit. Got him. One more time. And got him. There we go. Uh oh. You knocked him out cold. Wonder what's going on. I mean, he keeps calling himself Nagi. I thought he was Susano. Then again, he looks just like the statue of Nagi and the village. Yeah, that vibe in the village and the village's reactions. And now this big old full moon. Now I'm positive. We really did go back to Kamiki Village a hundred years in the past. I get it now. Everybody thought Shiro Nui came to the village before the, before the festival to size up the next sacrifice. They thought Shiro Nui was Orochi's familiar or something. So that's why he called you Shiro Nui and wanted to fight you. Wait a second. Who's the real Shiro Nui then? Uh oh. I have a bad feeling about this. I just hope I come in here and totally messed up history. Eh? Look, the villagers are all gathered in front of his house. Yagi, please come out. We need your help. Shiranui once again roams our village. It seeks to size up Orochi's next victim. The moon is at its fullest tonight. And the dreaded Orochi... And so history happens. Once again... An arrow has marked the home of the Chosen Maiden. This will be the 100th Maiden since this terrible rite began. Must our village suffer such tragedy yet again? Poor Nami. To think we'd end up having to send you to that beast. I believe in you, Nagi. You have trained long and hard to slay the dreaded Orochi. I shall not lose faith. I'm not afraid to face Orochi in the Moon Cave. I know you will put an end to Orochi and this dreadful rite. I'm going to go change into the white sacrificial robe. Please, everyone, 
Go hide in your homes. It is not safe out here. Well, victory on that. Ah, that Orochi. I'm sick of him and his antics. Eh? Hey, wait! Maybe it wasn't such a good idea knocking Nagi out like that. I mean, what about the legend? You know, the legend says Nagi disguised himself as the maiden to be sacrificed, and then slew the dreaded Orochi. But how's he gonna do that if he's out cold right here? This is gonna change history itself! What are we gonna do? We'll have to look for Lika later. We gotta think of something quick. Well, I guess we should make sure things go just like in the legend. That means we'll have to dress Nagi up like a maiden. Now then, where to begin? Oh, I know! Nami said she was gonna go change into a white sacrificial robe. We gotta swipe that robe and put it on Nagi. Then get him over to Orochi's place. That should more or less fulfill the legend. At least I hope it will. Anyway, we better hurry before Nami takes off. Let's go swipe that right sacrificial robe. We'll do that in a minute. Let me just grab this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode because it's gone on long enough. Not the stream, just the episode. Excuse me. Okay, head on over this way. It's so nice to be able to run on top of the water like this. Another hidden chest back here. Painting a pearl. We can sell that later. Alright, so. I'm gonna end this episode here. Next episode, we'll try and make sure history goes as it's supposed to be. Till then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Isu no Namatarasu. This has been a Let's Play of Okami, and I shall see you all next time.